The Emmy nominations. Kelty, this is going to be quite the race, huh? It sure is, Deb, from the powerhouse females to the freshman hits. Who's a sure thing and who could get lost in the TV shuffle? Time to break down our primetime Emmy predictions. <laughs> I want more! It's girl power like we've never seen as countless strong performances by women are set to outshine the guys on Emmy nomination Thursday, starting with lead actress in a limited series. You've always been overrated. There was FX's feud, just this acting powerhouse between Jessica Lange and Susan Sarandon. And then you have Big Little Lies over on HBO, which had Nicole Kidman and Reese Witherspoon. On top of that, you throw in Oprah for Henrietta Lacks. Hope I don't regret this. But our Emmy insider Hollywood reporter's Rebecca Sun predicts a big surprise in this competitive category. My money is on Carrie Coon from Fargo, who's been generating rave reviews for The Leftovers. I think that Carrie Coon is a good contender to be a double Emmy nominee, just like Sarah Paulson was last year. I think that the actress who has an edge in the lead actress category is Elizabeth Moss, who, you know, is on a new show, The Handmaid's Tale. Prior to Elizabeth, you had Claire Foy of The Crown, who won the Golden Globe and the SAG Awards, but that was a pre-Handmaid's Tale environment. Elizabeth is my frontrunner. Could it be that this is us Emmy sweep year? Yeah, but let's, let's get them all. And buzzworthy freshman series This Is Us, The Crown, Stranger Things, and The Handmaid's Tale have a real shot of shaking up this year's drama race. I really hope for everyone's sake that the show gets recognized. And those can replace the fact that both Game of Thrones and Downton Abbey will not be in the category this year. And the question really is what returning shows will be able to squeeze in uh, with all of these really promising newcomers. Yes, hello, it's the Donald. And Sun believes it's a shoe in for three SNL favorites. Settle down, settle down! Melissa McCarthy, who was an instant viral sensation the very first time she appeared as Sean Spicer. So I think she's absolutely a lock for Guest Actress nomination.